So for breakfast, you show them uh, one of the hotel cards and they give you two croissants and a cappuccino. It's our first day here. And we are just walking around. We got some breakfast at the cafe under the room. Now we got a long list of things we want to get done today. We're gonna to try to get them done. First stop though, we gotta figure out the metro. Which, ooh, that's a strong smell. Isn't this supposed to be the metro down here? I don't know, let's walk around. Line, line one. First stop is Toledo. Because it's supposed to look cool and artsy. So we're gonna try to figure that out. Obstacle number one is try to find a way to buy tickets. They're right there, I think. No. Oh, this maybe? We yeah, asked the nice security guard and he pointed us. He, he showed us where to go. Yeah. Right over here to the big thing that says tickets. Oh, that's very cool. Now, QA Biglietti. Oh, 220. Perfect. Tickets, now we're gonna attempt this again. supposed to be a metro station that they made very artistic. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of these ones on this line, I think, are supposed to be. There's yeah. a lot of art artsy metro stations here. Yeah, and so one of them is supposed to be Toledo. It looks pretty cool so far. two alleyways slash roads we want to go down. One's a pizza alleyway. Yes, and then the other one is just supposed to be a, a cool, notable alley. Or roads. We're yeah. not quite sure they what the technical term is. Apparently sell like kitschy souvenirs and stuff. Yeah, we are going to take the metro back to the station that was closest to it. Metro we walk is anywhere. really crowded. So we're walking. It's only sprinkling. We made it to Via S. Gregorio Armeno. Looks pretty cool. He's making pizzas. One of the vias is done. Now we're on to the second one. It's supposed to be about pizza. Yeah, it's supposed to be the big pizza street. The one we just were in, the Gregorio, that was fascinating. It had a whole bunch of tiny figurines, some even moved around. Lots of souvenirs and yeah. all sorts of little things. That's cool. Pizza, here we come. Alright, so we're trying to find a very, very, very popular pizza place. Well, we think we might have walked past it, so I don't know. <laughs> this whole street is pizza shops. Yeah, and traffic. So you're just trying to walk and also not get hit by cars at the same time. Via Dia Tribunali. That was my attempt. Another pizzeria. Another pizzeria. <laughs> Another pizzeria. So we think we found it. We're waiting. <laughs> that was all. We walk, we walk to the front, we put our name on the list, and we put do it. So now you just stand here and wait for your name. Kurt's making friends with the billboard, really up and close. <laughs> we made it. This is enormous and this was like literally ready in minutes. What kind did you get? Margarita extra. Yes. 
It looks good. We also have a fork and knife. <laughs> Take a deep orange knife. Thank you for your sassy commentary. It's very thin. <laughs> so this is supposed to be some of the best pizza in the world. But it's very thin. Yeah. How'd you like it? It was good. When he came up and asked for order, I felt rushed and I pointed to one that I thought I wanted and said the name. And then he asked me if I wanted a different one and I just said yes. So I ended <laughs> up with this one, but it's, it's really good. It's more of a white pizza. I got some prosciutto, some greens on it, and some tomatoes and cheese, and it's really good. But it's very thick. Yes. Both pizzas are very thin, a little watery, but it's good. It was so big that it was like falling over the side of the plate. Over the side of the plate. Yeah, that was disgusting. We did it. We ate at Sorbrella. So yes, that was very good. It was an interesting pizza. It was cheap. Yeah, more like it was more like a crepey kind of texture for yeah, doughy the crust, like, but good. Candy. Very thin, but like it was very good. good. It was and cheaper too, which was nice. And now we're on to the next thing on our list, which might be that way. Let's go. All right, Google Maps time. We think we made it. Question mark. Yeah. Says gallery. Bubonica. We might have made it. Might have made it. <laughs> oh wow. So basically, this is a historical site underground. It's tunnels, right? Yeah, it's like a it's tunnels. We'll learn more about it, and we'll talk <laughs> more about it once we figure out more about it. Yeah. And once we find it, this place is like one long tunnel. Dang. We'll see if they give us any trouble for our pizza. So we are waiting for our tour. It is at five o'clock. Oh wow. There's a doll. Oh. Do you see the doll right there? Yeah. Slightly creepy, but okay. So that's a fake electrical system that he glued on. And then this apparently was how they flag things. That's cool. With a text. Ready to go to the cathedral? I don't want to ask, but... It was like a big underground like cavern tunnel system. Yep, so in 19 or 1861, Italy had unified, but before then they had a dynasty called the Bourbon Dynasty. One of the, the second king before it ended, she said, he wanted to create a place from his place to the police station. A he secret could, tunnel. A secret tunnel, <laughs> so he could either escape or they could get to him. But the people caught on and were like, why are you making this tunnel? And he was like, I'm going to make you guys an underground shopping, shopping mall. mall. <laughs> um, yeah, and so it, that's kind of how the bourbon tunnel 
was originally like kind of founded and yeah. then for when the war was happening was it 1940s yeah they said the tunnel got lost for a long time mm -hmm. and then i think around world war ii the military found the tunnels and they opened them back up so people could use them as bomb shelters yeah and then uh, another section that was also used for like impounded vehicles from like yeah. the police. after the war after, after the, war. the war they used it to store vehicles that they impounded so that was fascinating and it was all underground and a little bit but it was fine. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And there were big underground cisterns, like water wells and stuff like that. Yeah. We got some videos of those too. We had to leave our pizza behind. Yeah, we had to leave the pizza at the front. I don't know if this is still good. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. We're going to find out, alright, and then might lose some weight. <laughs> By eating that pizza or not eating the pizza? If we. Oh wow, I didn't think about that way. I thought if it was bad and we ate it, we'd lose some weight. Okay. I didn't think about not eating it and losing weight. Anyway, we'll let you know. So we might or might not eat this pizza. I think for now we're just going to be heading back to our place yep. and going in bed. Tomorrow we want to try and head to Pompeii. Yep. We'll see how that works. But anyway, for now we're going to go find a train station and see if we can buy tickets. Think of my pizza exhibition video. Uh, you just got a lot of good B-roll. Thank you. 